And I was like, all right, orange on the left, red on the right. And then I look over here and it's red on the left and orange on the right. So my OCDs are like tingling, so I gotta go. I'm gonna start with the hardest part, these lines, because it's pretty hard to do by hand to make them symmetrical and even. And if I screw it up, then I don't have to do the rest. It would be unfortunate if I get all these done and then screw up one of these little guys and scrap the sign. So, fingers crossed I don't mess it up. All right, well, that sucked, but close enough for government work, so let's cut the rest out. All right, pretty close enough. We're just gonna secure these little tidbits to the backboard before I finish the cuts. But look at all this pollen. I mean, I just barked this underneath like an hour ago. So the next step is a little tedious. We gotta find where these are on the backboard. So I'm screwing the backboard in and then we're gonna mark these off, take the whiteboard out, drill some holes through, and then feed these through, bolt this in, and then we'll know exactly the placement, and then we can finish cutting, sand and paint. And one thing I'm gonna show real quick, so whenever doing letters that match, so sometimes you'll end up with like two O's, or or something like that, but in this case it's AR, AR on both sides. So what I did is these have two holes, no big deal. These have two holes for the screws, but also I put a little hole in the middle. And so I flipped it so it corresponds with this little guy. So when I'll send it and everything, I'll know that these guys go on this side and match the board, because sometimes these will be slightly off and you screw it in and it moves and next thing you know because it moves but you have the screw you'll actually scratch the paint so if you have like a GTR where it's just it's one thing you know I'm not gonna mess that one up I know it just goes dead center but in this case when you have duplicate ones mark them from the back somehow so you kinda know what's what so here you go top tip cutting apart this backboard so I can paint it separately and I'm looking over here because this is my old windshield thing and I was like, all right, orange on the left, red on the right. And then I look over here, and it's red on the left and orange on the right. So my OCDs are like tingling, so I gotta go online and confirm which one is which. Who does that? Like, why is these backwards? So for the rally art sign, since we don't have gloss orange paint, I'm gonna see if we can just use gloss clear coat and fake that this is actually bright orange. So let me take this out of here and we'll spray it. This is, I can't tell, but it's hammered metallic gunmetal. Rally art. All shiny, almost ready for the Mitsubishi day. And there's our rally art sign. Looks close enough, huh? Not a beginner project. These things are pretty difficult, but came out really good. The whole glossing thing with the clear coat instead of paint worked out great, so great success. I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll include a few shots from the Mitsubishi day. Thank <laughs> you.
somebody's doing woodworking too, but just not quite on the same level, huh? Not a bad start. What do we think? 